Good afternoon. Uh, my name's Heather West, and gosh, it's really wonderful to see so many smiling faces. I want to start by thanking the staff, faculty, and families that are here supporting us today. I returned to FES this year full of excitement. My brain was on overdrive thinking about the classes I would take. My legs were itching to get to Yale Myers to see the forest. And my heart was full thinking about the meals I would share with my inspiring classmates. All of these hopes for the year quickly disintegrated. On September 9th, 2014, I was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. To be honest, September was absolute hell. I was going to the doctor's office multiple times a day for every test you can think of as they searched for answers. In between, I would show up here to Croon Hall for classes, grateful to have something to think about other than the tumors growing inside of my body. Exactly one month after classes began, I started chemotherapy treatments. Now, I stand before you today not to share my story, but to ask you to think about yours. Where are you from? Where are you now? And where are you going? During my battle with cancer, I've had seemingly endless time to ponder these questions. I've conjured memories of growing up with my family in Davis, California to find strength. I've devoured stories of the daily successes of my classmates to find resolve. And I've leaned on an immense desire to continue my story in order to keep fighting. Now we talk a lot about resilience at this school, climate resilience, coastal resilience, forest resilience, urban resilience, but what about personal resilience? What about the ability to continue your work in the face of extreme obstacle? What about the willingness of the soul to move forward in the face of so many unknowns? And what about the motivation to take one step forward even when that step is full of uncertainty? Stubbornly, I stayed in school this year with the support of so many people on this stage and in the crowd today, and I thank you. I did this because I believe there's an immense power in moving forward with your dreams in the face of uncertainty. And guess what? The big, audacious questions that we are all trying to answer in our work are full of uncertainty. Uncertainty forces you to slow down. It makes you listen to yourself and it makes you listen to others. Perhaps most importantly, it makes you realize that you need to be able to galvanize the people around you in order to move forward with your work. On this somewhat sunny morning, afternoon, excuse me, in New Haven, I'm struck by three things. First, there's no snow. <laughs> A small miracle, something I never thought possible back in February. Two, we are all here. And three, we are all here together. I see classmates in the crowd who will shape our climate policy. I see friends whose research will propel those policies forward. I see lawyers. I see advocates. I see entrepreneurs and foresters. I see writers and poets, health experts, and community members. I see a community, and it's a community that I'm eternally grateful for. However, I want our community to be, to be remembered for something more than these professional job titles, these categories. I want our community to be remembered as a class that embraced the unknowns. I want to be recognized as a cohort whose patience and humbleness exceeded their needs for accolades and awards. And I want to be on a team whose resilience in the face of uncertainty catalyzes solutions to some of the greatest environmental challenges facing our globe today. And I want to be there with each and every one of you every step of the way. Cancer defines my daily existence, but it will not define my life. It does not change my past. It will not stop me from supporting my classmates on a day-to-day -day basis. 
and it cannot stop me from imagining a future where I'm contributing to the community I see before me today. And when it comes down to it, that's all we can really ask of ourselves. To take, to embrace our past as the past defines who we are today. To take today, one step at a time, as today leads towards a future. And finally, to humbly embrace that future and believe, above all else, that that future is bright. Thank you, class of 2015. Go forth.